is anything more important than the participation of the community in the centennial celebration. People who just love Las Vegas to participate in one of the wonderful events that we're having and we're kicking it off today is the 100 murals. We help support this project, the Home Depot with our vendors, Bear and Glidden, is donating all of the paint and the painting materials for all 100 murals. That means that thousands of young people like the ones that you will see today will be having the opportunity to increase their knowledge. And we know that the arts are a very important part of education. Yes, we believe in reading, writing, and arithmetic, but the arts are what give flavor, encouragement, enticement to our young people to love their educational system. Today, helping me out are the youngsters from the Lane Wind Elementary School. I'm trying to ask the artist to please hand me a palette get uh, green paint all over it. And here we go, folks. My name is Marcus Tracy, and I am an artist here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I work for the city of Las Vegas, and I run an artist in residence program. And I also participate in the Centennials 100 Murals Project, which I am the artistic director of. The 100 Murals Project will influence our community a great deal, especially um, uh, allowing communities to come together and, and work together in actually um, uh, in designing, implementing, and painting uh, a mural project that really involves their community, their history here in Las Vegas. Yes, we believe in reading, writing, and arithmetic, that the arts will give flavor, encouragement, enticement to our young people to love their educational system. The little spaces is hard, but it's fun. I don't know, like challenging. My most admired artist is Stuart Davis. In his uh, early career uh, as an artist, as well as later careers, 
career working on canvas large scale and using primary, secondary colors uh, in developing large scale projects similar to this. Matisse also was an artist of, of, of influence. In his later years, he cut out um, um, prints um, and also paper and put them together and organized them in a kind of collage of sorts. He, he also used really bright primary and secondary colors to create these, these, these wonderful free-flowing images on large-scale canvases. And so I just thought that was just so inviting and so wonderful that you could literally walk into that space. Richard Hooker, Stacey Allsbrook, Esther Carter, and Rich Ann Johnson, and Lisa Stamenis, all were actually um, um, all believed in my experience of what I've done over the past, uh, working with the community of Las Vegas for the past five years off and on. And, um, and uh, uh, so basically I have to really give them the full credit in allowing me to take on such a project. It's most important, I think. So.